Disciplining kids is never easy at any age. We don't like to see our kids sad, but we do want to teach them things. So how do we do that? A lot of people say, be consistent. Always the same consequence. Well, sometimes I fudge, and I'm going to explain why. You can call me Mocha Mom. Welcome to Working Mom Warrior. This is my channel where we share the ups and downs and hacks of a lot of different moms that I interview. I'm a journalist. I go out every week and talk to working moms. And this is my vlog where I share the successes and failures in my life. And today, I'm actually having a good day. I just came from an appointment for a video production that I am doing. And I'm always happy when I'm working on videos and getting paid for it. And today is a good day, I think, because um, my daughter is happier than she was yesterday. But maybe I didn't do the right thing that made her happy. And it's all about discipline. So she's been in a situation where she is breaking the rules. And she knows that we have a consequence where if you have an infraction, then you lose privileges for two days. So privileges includes your phone, the car, seeing your friends. She's 16 years old. These are things that are very important. And she is one to argue. In fact, I have been told by multiple people, wow, both of your kids should be lawyers because they're so good at arguing. So yes, you want smart kids, but it's difficult when they're always trying to outsmart you. And my kids have so much interest in not just arguing, but making sure that they can do whatever they need to to try to get out of something that they don't agree with. I have had situations where I have had to commit things that we've talked about to writing, get them to sign it like a contract, and then they still come back and nitpick the words and say, oh, you know, the semantics of this word or that word means that I really get to do that. No, no, no. Of course, I know what a lot of you are saying. You're the parent. You can just say, it is what it is. I make the decision. You live in my house. You follow my rules. You know, that's it. And I'm walking away. And that's what a lot of experts will tell you. And sometimes you have to do that, especially I think with younger kids. And maybe I'm being more flexible now because this is the stage that I'm in. And it is hard to discipline them. My daughter's gone through a lot of challenges. And so to give her a consequence that is going to make her sad at a time when she's facing a lot of challenges in life and is already feeling sad about a lot of things is tough. It's tough on me. She's upset. She's crying. I cry. Is it really solving anything? And then she says to me, the consequence that you've given me for this same infraction week after week is not working. It's I'm still having this problem. I'm still doing this thing you don't want me to do. So if it's not working, let's get rid of that consequence. Well, not so fast, okay? I'm not gonna just get rid of the consequence because I don't have anything in its place. And I am open-minded enough to tell my kids I will talk about things. I know a lot of parents don't do this, but I do. I figure... It's one of the things that they're supposed to be learning about, being creative, being solution-oriented, um, being able to collaborate and come up with ideas. I know that's supposed to work in other places, not necessarily at home and with the parent-child environment, but I'm open to it at any time. So I tell my kids, we'll talk about this. If you have another idea, I'll listen. Doesn't mean I'm gonna change my mind, but um, I did make a list the other day and I said, okay, I know you don't agree with these consequences, you don't like them, you think that they're unfair. So I made a long list of things that I said, if you do those things, you might earn some privileges back. No guarantee. You might get some of the privileges back, maybe not all of them. You might get the privileges back sooner instead of two days for an infraction, just one day. So these were things that really she should be doing anyways, okay? Chores, cleaning the cat litter, doing the dishes, homework, of course. She's got some online classes that she's taking, um, make progress in those. Even things like express yourself creatively, um, use some of your coping skills, Skills, write music, sing, play the piano, um, use your paint kit to make more art, your sewing machine to come up with some creative ideas. 
And to me, I'd always rather her be doing that than be on her phone, whether that's right or wrong. I put that on the list too. And so the other day, she then took the steps to be proactive without me asking or telling and looked on the list and did a bunch of those things. So now I would be a hypocrite to just say, oh great, that's what I wanted you to do. I'm not changing the consequence at all. No, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so I'll bend a little. So I will give you this maybe a day sooner or half a day sooner, or I'll give you the phone back but not the car. So I am open-minded, and again, I know there's gonna be people out there that say you're not sticking to what you said, and you're giving these kids a slippery slope, but in life, Sometimes that's the way, okay? I wanna prepare them for life. I read a lot of articles about having kids who challenge everything you say because they've been doing that since they were young. And those articles say it can be very frustrating for a parent, but those are often the leaders of our world. So I don't wanna just shut my kids down and say, do as you're told and never question authority because we wouldn't be where we are in our country if people didn't question authority. Sometimes authority doesn't have all the answers. And Sometimes there is a better solution that can be come up that somebody can come up with who's the one that's facing the consequence. So I am open minded, and the other night my daughter was very upset. Again, she said, okay, I'm doing the same thing and the consequences that you've implemented for the last couple weeks haven't made any change, so let's try something different. I don't like any of the things you wrote down. I'm not motivated to do any of those things. Well, that's it. And we're talking about all kinds of different other scenarios, which I'm saying no to, no, no, no. And then she says to me, well, how does it work in the real world, in society? She didn't really ask that, but we kind of got into that discussion because she knows how it works. She knows that there are laws and people face consequences and those consequences include jail time, for instance. And it's not just deterrent. Jail time is also punishment. Somebody should suffer because of something that they did. It's also to keep society safe. Somebody should be off the streets because it makes society safer. Maybe you should be in your home because it makes our home run more smoothly when you're taking care of your obligations. So I may correlate between society and in our home and then she said to me okay so in society sometimes you pay a fine and that's your consequence how about if I pay you to get out of the consequence a day sooner so I stopped and I said that's not really exactly the way I want this to go but again I try to be open-minded I know I'm gonna get some people saying that you shouldn't but I do. I try to be solution oriented and if she's bringing to the forefront a solution I hadn't thought of, I'll consider it. Okay, $20 and you get your phone back. I get some money, she's happy, she's in touch with her friends which helps her to cope when things aren't going well and she has to suffer a little, right, to pay that $20 because she works. She knows what it's like to make money. And then we even talked about another $20 to get the car back for a day, another $20 to not be grounded and be able to see your friends for the day. I know a lot of you are gonna think that's crazy, right? But I used to think it was crazy to bribe kids for things like grades or to get them to do what you want. And I read a lot of articles about doing that for kids when they're younger. So I guess this is a little bit of a form of that. In reverse, she's bribing me <laughs> to get out of the consequence. But the bottom line is I take these things on a case-by-case -case basis, right? And I know that a lot of experts will tell you to be consistent, stick to it, don't ever budge. And I do have the consequence. She knows what it is. We've discussed it. It's written down. But there are ways to, I guess you could say, get around it. It doesn't mean just by begging or crying or throwing a tantrum. There's steps that need to be taken. So I do that. I am open-minded. I fudge a little. I let her go down that slippery slope. And I think that's part of being prepared for the future. I was in an industry for more than 15 years in television news where every single day things are different. And something that you might be praised for one day might get you in trouble the next. You really have to think on your feet and know how to evaluate things on a case-by-case -case basis. So I'm teaching my kids a little of that. Right or wrong, that's the way I do it. How do you do it? Well, let me know. 
in the comments and click on the next video to get more tips from all kinds of moms, not just me. I have lots of videos featuring stories and inspirations from other moms. Subscribe to my channel and you can see all of them and I'll see you next time on my next vlog. Oh,